Welcome back to another TISM report, and, and this one has me a little irritated. But for context as to what led up to this, I was working on my FCK Maxim video. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'm essentially right now producing a video, a big, big, lengthy video, going over everything from top to bottom, from beginning to end, to do with the FCK and the art commentary community, and this sort of spat that's gone on for about four years now. I mean, going into everything, like what led up to what, you know, all the dominoes, basically, as many as I can get in there. And I've even gone out of my way to include some extra things to give you a really good look at some of the things that I had to deal with when I was just 16 and 17 from the art commentary community that was calling me the harasser, the one individual, versus the hundreds, even thousands of fucking batshit crazy people desperately trying to accuse me and frame me for shit that I didn't do. So I include some things from specific audience members and some interactions that'll give you a really good idea as to what I was dealing with from the same community that said vilifying minors was bad, lying about minors was bad, only a couple months prior when it came to Slamers. Now as I was working on this video, I took a stroll around some comments comment sections, and even the FCK server to give some motivation, a quick stroll around as to why I'm making this, to remind myself. And while I was doing that, I decided to, you know, just go through things again and gather any screenshots I hadn't before, because I had archived the thing, but I also want to have separate screenshots aside from archives in case, you know, the servers ever delete it. I noticed and then remembered that we were given access to two chats. One of the admins got on one of their other accounts and gave us access to admin-only chats. These fucking degenerates didn't delete the Slimmer's porn chat like they had everyone else thinking. No, they didn't delete it. They restricted it behind a specific fucking role. They archived the chat. I'm not joking. And then I started taking a stroll into the chat, just taking a good gander at it. And I saw the interaction that they had with Ben that led up to his removal in the Toby drama, and that will be included into the FCK Maxim, because it further shows that it was 110% an attempt from Nezzy Monster to hide it. It's just, but, but they say it's just a coincidence, even though Ben was in the chat, messaging in there, and they were making fun of Ben for posting the image they told him not to, specifically Slimmers and a couple of the others. And then when Ben posts it again, which results in the Toby drama, that whole fucking thing happening. You know, Ben threatens the group. He specifically gives me evidence in August of that very same exact chat, porn chat dedicated to Slimmers' porn. And then, you know, Nezzy wants it removed. As I'm scrolling through this, I find fucking Susie Doodle Tones in this chat. Doodle Tones, the person who insisted throughout this entire situation from the call with Laka to the Thoughts and Statements video that they had no idea about any of this, that they were unaware until after they left the server. And then if you all remember when me and Laka brought up that Doodles 110% knew that Slimmers is a minor, Susie's response was, well... I distinctly remember a conversation with Toasty where he told me that Slimmers was no longer in the server. And yet, if you had no fucking idea about any of what was wrong with the fucking server aside from Toasty being a sex pest, why were you in the dedicated porn chat of the person you knew was underage? This was June 1st. So this is before Susie left. This is before the Toby drama. This is before they changed and hid the chat. And the reason I say that it's before they changed and hid the chat, the chat's original name used to be Slimmer's Art Shack NSFW because there was a safer work version and a non-safer work version. Normal art chat and a porn artwork chat. Though to be honest, I don't know why they even made a chat dedicated to her porn since her porn was posted everywhere in the fucking server, even outside of the porn chat. In August, when Nezzy told Toasty to have it removed and Toasty told the admin to remove it, they changed it from NSFW to Archived. So when Susie was in this chat, it was flat out named Slimmer's Art Shack in SFW. There's no fucking way Susie didn't know what it was. I'm not gonna buy the cope that, well, maybe Susie didn't see the chat name. You mean specifically go into that chat? No, I don't believe that for a second. Because they normally talked in Gamer Zone. That was their general chat. This chat was not their general chat. I'm not going to buy that cope from Senate, let alone the SCC. This flat out contradicts what Susie wanted everyone to believe before leaving. But hopefully this gives you something to look forward to when it comes to the FCK Maxim, because I plan on unveiling a lot. It's going to really put things into perspective, and I'm going to bring a lot to the table that you guys haven't seen yet. 
across the board, it's going to give you a really good look. Because I've gone out of my way to give you a good look at that audience, too. Because when I say that that community is dishonest, at least majority-wise, the art commentary community is dishonest, I mean that. It's not a, a generalization. I mean that a good portion of their content creators and their audience will willingly lie, make up shit, and falsely accuse just because they don't like the individual. And not only that, but many of the people that are currently in Senate, you'll see in this video, across comment sections, I wasn't joking when I said that, you know, there's a, a parallel, there's a overlap, or anything like that. I was, it was no joke, it was no overstatement, it was no simple throw to the air to get something to stick. I mean, a lot of the people that are in Senate right now were in the comment sections in the Discord servers all the way back then, running their fucking mouth, gleefully cheering on the FCK in their narrative. And you'll see some of them. And then I'll show more of them on the stream that I'm going to have after the FCK Maxim. Because I'm going to be getting into the other hug boxes from the ArtCC, like Cloud9 and Darkness Stone server. So you guys are going to have plenty to look forward to, but it is going to take me some time to get this video done. So stay tuned. I assure you it is well worth it.